The Shun Hero Santoku knife uh, has a hammered blade. Uh, you'll notice it has a little bit different shape than your classic Western chef's knife. A um, little bit smaller, a little more agile. Um, the handle has a very distinct uh, little hump in the middle here that really, when you grab on, it uh, really cups right in the middle of your hand. So this is a great knife for pretty much across the board use. Um, I like to use it when I'm cutting chicken that's been cooked or um, vegetable use. Uh, but again, it's, it's very uh, petite blade, uh, very agile, very light and balanced. So what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna julienne a pepper. So I like to uh, fillet it off the outside, nice and clean. Glides right through. This particular knife, you can rock. I'm gonna do a nice thin little julienne. I don't know if you can hear, but as I'm slicing through the skin, it's not cracking. It's a really nice, sharp edge. And as you see, everything just slides right off. So a really nice, thin julienne bell pepper. It tastes really good too. Now, not only can you do a nice thin julienne, but now I can take a red onion, take the front off. I'm going to do a nice fine brunoise here. So I'm holding the knife. I'm going to pull this off. This is not, don't do this at home. I'm holding the knife firmly. As you can see, my fingers are right at the bolster. I'm holding again. I'm using that claw motion to hold the onion. Slicing three quarters of the way through the onion. Now, claw motion again. I'm going to start at one end and go straight down. This is going to give me a really nice fine dice. Now, I'm going to change the hand position a little bit, and I'm going to actually still have that claw, but I'm going to grab the entirety of the onion, if you can see that there. What I'm doing is I'm holding all those little pieces in place as I cut down. Now, if I was to do it this slow at the restaurant, I would never get dinner done. A nice, fine dice of onion. So now what we'll do is carrot. I'm gonna square it off, doesn't roll away. And do a little matchstick. So the versatility of the, the Hero Santoku is really apparent. You have a very dense, firm carrot that we cut into the matchstick. You have an onion, which is pretty dense, but yet there's lots of layers to it. So as you're slicing it, you would think the layers would want to come apart. But because of the design of the Santoku, you can slide in very easily, and it doesn't want to separate. And then you have this soft flesh, yet firm skinned bell pepper. Um, it glides through all of them very easily. The Shun Hero Santoku knife uh, has a hammered blade. Uh, you'll notice it has a little bit different shape than your classic Western chef's knife. A um, little bit smaller, a little more agile. Um, the handle has a very distinct uh, little hump in the middle here that really, when you grab on, it uh, really cups right in the middle of your hand. So this is a great knife for pretty much across the board use. 